Hello everyone, in this video we're taking a look at a beautiful SPS coral dominated aquarium from France. This is Charlie's Shallow Reef and he has grown a following of over 10,000 people online, including myself. You can find a link to his page in the description. He loved the idea of showing off his tank in our Reef Tank Tour series. I have featured numerous other insane tanks like his. If you want your tank featured, please reach out to me. I'd love to share your aquarium with the world. This aquarium features a unique aquascape design. As you can see, a lot of effort went into making it. For the most part, a coral branch like rock was used for the scape, assembled with white cement. He used a 3D printer to create support pieces for the corals. That's some dedication right there. I love the look of this scape. What do you think? The tank measures 130 by 65 by 45 centimeters and was made using extra white glass. The tanks I have in my bedroom were also made with this type of glass. It is a bit more expensive but definitely worth it. Glass normally has a green tinted look to it, which I do not like. I think he made a great choice choosing for extra white glass. His tank is lit by an Ecotec Radiant G6 Pro, two XR30s, one XR15, 4 T5 blue plus bulbs from ATI and an Orpec or 3 blue. You may think this is a bit overkill, but that's not the case. SPS corals need very strong lighting, so this is just enough light for them. If you stock your tank mainly with LPS corals or soft corals, you can get away with less lights. On my own aquariums in my bedroom, I use two red sea LEDs and two castle lights. Flow is another important factor when keeping SPS corals. An Ecotec MP40 and a Jabao SLW20 make sure there's enough flow for these corals. In addition to these wave makers, the return pump from the sump also provides some water flow. Speaking of the sump, let's take a quick look at the equipment down there. He uses a few pieces of equipment to make sure his livestock remains in top condition. With the help of all this equipment, he aims for the following water parameters. As you can see, his cat loves the aquarium as well. In terms of maintenance, Charlie does a 15% water change on his aquarium every week. The corals and livestock in general can benefit greatly from a water change with some fresh salt water. He feeds his corals and fish a wide variety of both dry foods and liquid foods to keep them happy and healthy. As you might have guessed by now, his favorite species of coral is Acropora. What is your favorite coral? Let us know in the comments and make sure to rate this tank from 1 to 10. Also, let me know where you'd like me to do a tour next. Thanks for watching!